Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is gonna be on Please, Please, Please by Sabrina Carpenter. Beautiful little song. I'm gonna teach you the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications button, leave me some comments in the comment section, even if you just wanna say hi, it just helps the video get some more views. Uh, and if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you want the tabs for this as well, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. A link to that is in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now the intro sounds like this. So for that, the first chord is an A chord. First finger D2, second finger G2, third finger B2. Playing from the A string downwards. So we've got four beats on that. One, two, three, four. Uh, and you could just kind of play. So sort of down, 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 down. It then goes to a C sharp minor slash G sharp. Sounds confusing, it's not too bad. First finger, E4, second finger on B5, third finger on D6, little finger on G6. Your first finger will mute off the A string so it doesn't ring. Okay, you've got four beats on that. So first two bars. In bar three, we've got so this is probably the trickiest thing of the whole song. So your first finger bars across from the A string at the ninth fret, playing the A9, D9, G9, and B9. And then we hammer on our second finger to B10, third finger to D11, little finger on G11. So you hit it and hammer it on, and then you're gonna hit that with an upstroke. So then take the fingers off, and play just the nines, so you got and then put them back on, and it's two hits on that. So the next bar is the same, starting, and then we play the A string, and then a hammer on from A2 to A4. You could just hold the, the chord on, but I like to play that little bass line, so you could just go for two bars. But I like to put that little hammer on, so. It then goes to a D chord. Now it's hard to get the D chord straight away after that hammer on, so I play the D string on its own. And then a D chord, which is your second finger E2, first finger G2, third finger B3. So I'll go. Because playing the D string gives me time to get the chord. It's then A over C sharp, which is your first finger flat across the D2, G2, and B2, and third finger on A4. Play from the A string down. There's only two beats on this, so D, A over C sharp. Then you get a B minor chord in bar six, which is your first finger A2, second finger B3, third finger D4, little finger G4, middle four strings, then back to an A chord. And then when you've got the A chord, if you move them all up one string, that gives us an E sus4. So A2, D2, and G2, and the rest of the strings open. And then it resolves to an E chord in bar eight, which is your first finger on G1, second finger A2, third finger D2. Okay, so if we put that all together, look at this. So that's the intro, which is also actually the chorus as well. Uh, after the intro, it goes straight to the verse, where'd you get this? Mm -hmm. 
So we've got an A chord, and the rhythm kind of all the way through. I'm going down, 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 up, down, down. The next chord goes to an F sharp seven. So first finger on B seven, second finger on G eight, third finger on A nine, little finger on G nine. Playing the middle four strings. Same kind of rhythm. It then goes to B minor, which we've done already, for two bars. Uh, uh, D for a bar. Then A over C sharp for a bar. Then E sus four for a bar. Then E for a bar. So if we put the whole of the verse together, you got this. And that verse repeats, so you play it twice through. And then we've got a chorus, same as the intro, uh, it plays twice through, let's just play it once through, here we go. So that chorus plays twice through, and then the second verse changes, it changes key. It sounds like this. More of the same kind of rhythm, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. The first chord is a C chord, first finger B1, second finger D2, third finger A3. Next chord is an A7, where you just put first finger D2, second finger on B2, play from the A string downwards, make sure that G string rings out. We then have two bars of D minor, first finger E1, third finger B3, Second finger G2. So you've got two bars of that. Then goes to an F chord. First finger B1. Second finger G2. Third finger A3. Little finger D3. Uh, then there's a bar of C over E, which is the same as a C chord, but you're just going to play from the D2 downwards. Uh, and borrow that. And then two bars of G. Any G will be fine. Okay, so let's try that second verse. Here we go, three, four. Then goes back to a chorus and plays that, and then after this um, second chorus, there's this outro. Where you got this? Well, that's the first. Um, Four bars repeated. So you've got D for a bar, then E for a bar, A for a bar, and then C sharp seven, which is the same shape that we use for the F sharp seven in the uh, verse, but we're moving down to C sharp. So first finger, B2, second finger on D3, third finger, A3, oh, sorry, A4 and little finger on the G4. So that's 
C sharp seven. It's like a C chord with the little finger onto the G string and then move up for it. It then repeats those first four bars. So you play the first four bars twice. It then carries on into bar 37. We've got D for a bar, E for a bar, A for two beats, C sharp minor over G sharp, which we used in the chorus for two beats. Then F sharp minor, which is your first finger barred on the second fret. Third finger A4, little finger D4. E for two beats. D major for four beats, so a whole bar, and then D minor for a bar, and then A just finishes, and you just hold that on. So if we play from bar 37, you got this. I think there's a bit of a row, a bit of a slow down in bar 44. So that's the outro, first four bars repeat twice and then you carry on and play the rest and that's the end of the song. Well I do hope you've enjoyed that guitar lesson and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really helps me out as does giving me a like on the video, press the notifications so you see my new videos when they come out uh, and I do love to hear from you, I do read every comment so please leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from, let me know what songs I should do next, or if you just wanna say hi, just say hi. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you want the tabs for this, and loads of other songs, then you can support me on my Patreon page. Link to that's in the description. Um, I've also got a new Instagram account, it's Andy Hillier Guitar, uh, so come and check me out on there. Well, thanks for watching this, I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.